Now, our kids are bombarded by messages that encourage them to make rather unhealthy choices. So it's no wonder that one in nine Kiwi kids are obese and another 22% are overweight. In Coffee Group today, we are talking strategies for cultivating a great relationship with food from a very early age. And we're welcoming back John Cowan from The Parenting Place. And joining us for the first time is Karen Ovens, who's just written a book called Creating Well Kids. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. So Karen, first up, tell me, what are the issues that parents are facing? Well, one of the things I find mostly is that parents are saying to me, I don't have enough time or I'm too busy. And I like to sort of flip that around and say, well, what about saying, I always have enough time for my children's health? Well, we do, but sometimes we are busy. It's about really being organised and pre preparing, involving the kids in right. what you're doing. So it's being practical, getting organised, because this is, has ongoing ramifications Absolutely. for their entire life, their relationship with food. Absolutely. John, what do you think? Is it important to have a firm hand with them when they're young about their food choices that they're making? I think you should control where they eat, when they eat and what they eat, but allow them to decide how much to eat. And also, don't make a big deal of so much about whether they're eating or not, make a big deal about creating an atmosphere around the table so it's something that they enjoy. Mm. We've chatted about this before, haven't we? we? Did, yes. Having a good dinner table relationship. That's right. I think it's so important and there's so many good things that flow out of that as well as nutrition, all sorts of family dynamic things flow out of a good, healthy meal time. Yeah. But, yeah, but that, that's not the way we do things these days, is it? No, I think we tend to rush a lot and I totally agree that meal times Turn off all the distractions. Absolutely. And Turn all those off and sit there as a family and discuss what's happened during the yeah. day. Mm. And don't threaten or bribe your kids yeah. with anything. And just let them try everything. Yeah. We used to have this game with my kids called the, the little t your taste buds. And I created this image in their head of little things. And so they would try everything. They didn't have to eat and it. And it's very healthy, as long yeah. as you're trying things and trying right. new things. Yeah. Because it's, it's also very important when they're young to see us as adults having a healthy relationship mm -hmm. with food. We shouldn't be saying, oh, I can't eat that, it's going to make me fat, or oh, um, okay. you know, we should have a healthy relationship, yeah. so we're passing it on to them too, yeah. aren't we? Because it's important to cultivate that so they stay healthy right through to adulthood Absolutely. and then they pass it on to their children. So we all know that we should be eating less sugar uh, and we should be giving them whole foods. But what is the one takeaway point that you'd both like to make to parents that are perhaps watching at home today, thinking, well, I really want my children to have this healthy relationship. What should they be doing? Well, I would firstly say, really educate yourself in the effect that food has and just really take the time. You know, you take time, if your car's out of petrol, you take time to fill it up with petrol. Okay. So take time to fill your kids up with really good nutrition. Fill up the tank and use the yep. good stuff, not the and, dodgy knockoff. Okay. I remember, <laughs> someone, I remember someone saying, don't tell teenagers it'll make you healthy. They won't care about that until they're about to die. Tell them it'll make them beautiful. <laughs> 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 OK, that sounds like some quite good advice. Thank you both very much Thank for um, talking to us here today Thank about you. what's going on. And Fussy Eaters, I think we should touch on a whole other show, perhaps, yes. because there's a lot involved there. Uh, great advice and helpful tips there. Thanks very much, John and Karen.